So I walk out of the hotel. Turns out I have the same cab driver as I had yesterday, which is pretty cool. There's probably like 10 mobile phone stores down here, and all of them mostly sell cases and accessories, but they do not have the Google Pixel phone covers anywhere down here. I'm trying to get a glass cover to go over the screen, so hopefully I have something that will get me over until I can get my glass replaced. All right, the first store didn't have it, but as you can see, this place is huge. They have service repair, they have all sorts of cables, covers, everything you can imagine. Nothing from the Google Pixel. If you can see outside of the store, there's still probably a half dozen more of these phone shops to try. guys even though I walked around this little area down in Hatsonomy, Hatsonomy <laughs> I'll put the name on the screen so you can see it even though I've walked around this neighborhood and driven around this neighborhood a lot of times coming back from getting the phone fixed came through some new neighborhoods that I hadn't seen and after having the opportunity to see both the Boca Grande and this little historic district it's a toss-up on which one I like more they're uniquely different, and I'm glad we did both of them. It's a great place. Cartagena is a great place if you come here on vacation. You'll absolutely love it. You can't go wrong in either Boca Grande or this neighborhood. You'll have a fun time. If you get the chance, stay in both because it's different and unique in both spots. But either or, you can get in a cab and go see the other. But I highly recommend coming to Cartagena. It's a beautiful place. There's a million phone places down there, but nobody has the Google Pixel. No. Fortunately, I was able to get the glass cover. I can't pinch and zoom in and zoom out on my phone. Oh no. I can scroll and do some other things, but I lost some functionality. Well. But. Yeah. What's the status with the van? Kurt, Kurt sees me with a big old giant grin on my I know, face. Like, hurry up, hurry yeah, I'm up. like, quit talking. And that is because we got a WhatsApp. A cab is picking us up in 30 minutes and we're going to get our van. <laughs> Uh, I cannot wait. I mean, it's going to be, we got a lot of work. We still got to get it out of customs, but we are going to pick up our house. The thing I'm most nervous about. We couldn't see the puck lock on the, sl yeah. puck lock on the sliding door. There's still I'm some unknown. That it's secure. We're going to get the van. <laughs> I am beyond excited. I'm like little kid on Christmas morning excited. I'm still nervous. It's true, but I'm still excited. We're down here in the lobby of our hotel here on the beach. We are headed to go get our van from the port and our agent arranges the transportation. And uh, they were supposed to pick us up at 10 o'clock. It is now 10.50. Our appointment at the port to get our van is at 11 o'clock. Um, it's been a stressful 45 minutes since we realized our car is late and it is because there is gridlock traffic in the downtown area uh, our agent, Yair, did manage to get our appointment pushed from 11 o'clock to 11.30. So guys, keep your fingers crossed that we will get there in time and don't miss that second appointment. And miss our van uh, of all times for a traffic jam. Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> To all my friends from the old days, no, I am not getting back into the construction industry, mm -hmm. but this is the safety gear that we're wearing to go in and get the van. One step closer. So only one person can go back into customs to pick up the van, so this is where I will wait. Kurt's filling out some paperwork, and I get to sit here in the air conditioning, and got some little TV. 
Pretty good. Curdy, you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nervous and excited. Mm -hmm. Nervous and excited. All right, guys, if you could see that trailer behind yeah. us, that's where we left snow. We're walking down here to get the van. It's actually a pretty long walk. I'm a bit surprised. Still not exactly sure where we're going. All right, we're here at the security gate. I gave him my passport, waiting to get into the next level. All right, guys, we just made it past our third level of security, and we're still going. It's a long walk. I'm glad we left snow back behind. It's a lot further than I would have thought, but we're still going. Looks like we have our fourth level of security coming up here. Place is locked down pretty tight. Here's the van. I see the puck on the side door. It's still there. So that is a good sign because they can't really open this side puck, this door without that. But it looks like the door was tried to open. They did try to open that and the puck is on the back. So, the van looks to be in pretty good shape from here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, the van, good news, the van looks intact. I'm not able to open the back doors or the side doors yet, so I don't have 100% confirmation, but everything looks pretty solid. We signed for everything. And now we got to try to get out of here, I think, is all we got left to do. But we are in the van. Okay, Kurt just sent me a picture with a big smile on his face. Yair messaged and said they'll be here in a few minutes. I am going to wait right here to watch my little tiny house on wheels drive down this road any minute. This... This is a really big deal to get our house back. And with Kurt smiling like that, I know everything inside is okay. <sighs> We're headed out. We gotta go pick up snow. We're waiting right here at this last little checkpoint. There may be one more, but we got the van. I just got a message from Kurt that may be bad. We don't have the key to open up the hockey puck locks on the side and back doors and I think they're in the camera bag back at the apartment I didn't even think about it I thought they were in my purse they're not I don't know if they're uh if they're gonna let us have the van without being able to search it uh, I'll sit down there out right here Oh man, <laughs> good job on getting out anyway. Holy crap. You get this hard hat now? Yeah. Oh, they're probably going to want something here, huh? it's official we just went through the gate we are out we have our van back the problem with the locks is averted I still don't know how they pulled that off but I don't care we're back in our van baby we're in the van. we have the house back <laughs>
I had forgotten these keys when we went to pick up the van, so we have not looked in the cabin yet or in the back. So that's what we're gonna do right now. You can see I'm kind of jammed in here, so it's gonna be a bit tough. Let's check the back first. So. Everything is intact good deal all right guys everything is exactly as we left it I powered the van the lights are working we're back functioning oh. Woo. lesson in life we spend a lot more time worrying about things that never come to pass than we should I suppose it's a bit of human nature. Some of us are guilty more than others. We worried a lot about this. I'm not sure by worrying we accomplished anything, but I'm just glad we made it through. No problems other than the long delays and the additional costs, which were big, but not nearly as big as losing our van. So here we go, Columbia. So we just got our van super pumped yeah came down to the pool to celebrate relax let some stress off because the van is safe and all of a sudden it started, it started raining to rain. it started it to rain <laughs> out of nowhere crazy. it started to rain it started to <laughs> it's gonna pass Now I have the task of trying to take this wall down and if you can see here the screws are on the inside there's a lot of them but I think this is going to be a fairly easy demo it's been about three hours in the van I got the top side loaded up so most everything out of the van I got the wall down I still got quite a bit little more tidying up to do I got the laundry here we're gonna do all the bedding all the pillowcases and all that stuff so far, good morning, it's about 9 a.m. Tomorrow we're back in the van, so I'm excited. But the van still needs a little of snow's touch. So I had to do a few last minute chores. Oh. One of which is to get some Dish detergent. Laundry soap. So we can do our laundry. But now I gotta try to go get that broken display, so. Okay, thank you honey. All right, so here's my driver. He waited for me. Thank you for waiting for me, Jesus. Say hey to our YouTube audience. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Here's the problem. The display in the move for our battery management system, which gives us like state of charge, percent of battery capacity, all that good information, it got smashed in the move. So one piece of damage. Now I have to go back down to Centro to see if I can find this in Cartagena, Colombia.
All right, so we've been to like five stores. Most of them have been like cell phone stores. None of them had it. They keep telling us to go further this way. We're told there's an electronica store up here that will have it. I don't know, but we're gonna see. Unfortunately, it's Sunday, and they say a lot of stuff is closed on Sunday. So, fingers crossed, guys. So we've already walked about six blocks. Now we're kind of coming out of the little Centro district on the fringe. There's, I don't know how I would have found this on my own, especially by not speaking Spanish. We're actually coming to a part of Cartagena that I haven't explored yet. There's a nice little park right here and some pigeons. So we found the security guy. He's gonna let us in the back door. This place is closed actually. So we'll see what's going on. It looks like we're kind of coming into some kind of restaurant or something. I don't know what's exactly going on here. Ah, uh, so he just called the cat. Como se llama? Repita. It's grande. It's grande. Wow. Wow. She is gorgeous. Bellissimo. Wow. All right. Bad news, guys. Jesus has drugged me all over this little shopping district down here in Cartagena. And everything is closed on Sunday, which is kind of the tradition here in Colombia. There are some places that are open, but. A lot of the specialty places, especially the electronica store. I know where they are. It looks like we can come over here tomorrow, pull up, street park for a minute, run in. Hopefully they have it. No idea. We'll see tomorrow. Snow and I are on little different schedules today. I'm taking care of the van down below and she's cranking out a video right now. So we've definitely kind of separated and gone and done separate things. We both had productive days in our own way. She had lunch while I was out running around trying to find the monitor that's broken for our van. But, so she made herself lunch. So now I gotta go find myself some lunch. And I don't think a trip to Cartagena would be complete without a whole fried fish. So that's where I'm going. This is a fish soup. Snow would hate this. It actually has fish bones in it. It has a very fishy flavor. It's good. 
And also, I believe this is really cooked down so it's soft yucca or some other kind of root vegetable like that. But I'll show you here. You can see there's big old bones in there. And so, I like it. No, definitely not. And I haven't even come close to making it through my soup. It's like literally five minutes total. Nice looking whole fried fish, it's giant. Patacones, two of those, brown rice and an ensalada with tomato, lettuce, lechuga, I think there might be some onion in there, and a nice little dressing. This is going to be delicious. I only need no one more thing and you guys know what that is. Picante. I know this looks like a mess, and it is indeed, but I've had probably about six hours on this today, maybe eight hours on this today, just taking down the wall, cleaning everything up, getting everything up into storage. I still got to make one more trip up to the attic, but I got it down to the few little minimals. We still got to move some stuff around in some shelves, but... We're getting close. We almost have our home back. Hey, G. Guess what, buddy? Guess what, buddy? We got your house back. You're going to get the screen door. You're going to get to go on a walk in the grass. Yes. Are you happy? Are you a happy boy? You don't know what I'm saying, or you'd be roly poly and you'd be a happy boy. Yes. We got our house back, buddy. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Anna, Anna, guess what, baby? Guess what? We got your screen door back today. Yes, we did. You're going to be so happy. We're going to go home soon. We got to do a little work on it in the morning. And then we're moving back home. Yay. Okay, guys. There's still some straightening up to do. But... We are officially back in the van. It did not take the kitties long at all to find their spots. Vanna's under her cubby. She's at the window. Oh, guys, it feels good to be home. Kurt's putting a few last minute things up in our attic. And then... I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a someplace far yeah we could go for a ride the two of us we don't have to stop baby let's go for a ride you and i let us run away we can go where we want i'll have you couldn't get it yesterday because all the electronic stores were closed because it was Sunday. The cab driver took me all around. I went to the stores today, about three stores, four stores, none of them had it. A guy from one of the stores literally walked me all around this Centro district to almost every electronic store. He knew all the guys. They all looked at it and unfortunately it's not something we're going to be able to get here. They told me to go on Mercado Libre and maybe we can get it shipped in three days. So we're on the move right now. I don't know what that means, but this is extremely important piece to our system. It gives us complete visibility into our batteries and state of charge. So we're gonna struggle until we find this guy. So I wish us luck.
will see us kind of make fun of each other, pick on each other a little bit about our driving and who's driving and who drives better. But today, Kurt gets nothing but absolute 100% good job attaboys because he just maneuvered us through the craziest traffic scenario I have seen on the journey so far. And that was us going by the Mercado trying to get out of Cartagena. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!